Everybody, I'm here with Renee, who was part of the audience of my keynote today at uh, ASCD, and she was just telling me what impacted her the most about what I had to say. So, what do you I, think, Renee? I think it was. <laughs> I think actually, I think it was a great, a great presentation. But not just that; it was life-giving. It was encouraging. And what I saw, what resonated with me the most, was that young people have the opportunity to see change because they have more alike than they have different. And you saw young people from cultures around the world working together, walking together, singing together, playing instruments together, dancing together, but it, and even dealing with real life issues together. I thought it was powerful. And I think that's the next generation that is the now generation that'll make a difference. So Let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you were to now go home and go back to your school, how would you implement some of the things that we talked about today? If I were to go home and implement some of the things I talked about today, I would first share some of the principles you shared with us about where the millennials are and how they are thinking, and we need to understand where they are to work with them. And I think the part that you did so well was talked about even generationally, what we have a life that's not different, and how do we bridge that gap to do it together. So I would let the young people talk more, um, challenge my colleagues that are in the leadership positions to be willing to, uh, what's the word I want to say? broaden their horizons to trust that the next generation can handle the things that are out there. I think that they can do it right. if we give them a chance. So. Well, that's great. Well, thanks, Renee. I appreciate it. <laughs> you bet. Thank you.